right. What is your name? Lauren Bassler. Okay, what year were you born? 1990. Okay, and where are you from originally? Portsmouth. And so you grew up here in Scioto County? Yep, all of my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ask you today to come and speak to us about your experiences with the 9-11 tragedy. Could you go ahead and tell us a little about that? Well, I was in the fifth grade and I remember that we were doing our little silent reading. And then a teacher, sixth grade teacher, who actually had a TV in their classroom, they came in and did a, kind of like whispered to our teacher and they went out and left us so we're kind of looking at each other like, what's going on? And then she comes back in and, you know, kind of herded us up and we all left and went into the sixth grade classroom and they pulled out seats for us and they kind of really didn't say anything to us but they sat us and we could see on television all the news and stuff that was happening and we didn't really know, I don't think, what was happening. We knew that a plane had hit but I don't think we really realized what that meant. And by the time we got there, I think we had just sat down and we got to see the second plane hit. And it was kind of like, what just happened? And I think we stayed there for um, most of the day, but then they kind of like got us out trying to do like the normal things. I remember we went to art class and just normal stuff. And then I ended up going to my aunt's house afterwards and she had it on there and I actually got to see the towers fall. And just like, you know, what happened? You're trying to figure out. Because nobody would really tell you anything because you're a kid. So, but you know something just happened. Sure. How, um, over the next few weeks at school, was it different than usual or? You could feel that, like, it was different. The people were a lot more careful in going about, like, near you and stuff. But given the sense you, they're trying to make it normal, but you, you can kind of feel they're being extra careful. Um, how has this event changed your life or changed your outlook? It kind of gives you that sense that nobody really knows exactly what will happen in the future. And um, from like growing up to that point, security, it was there, but it wasn't that much of a big deal. And from then on, that's pretty much, we've grown up with all the security measures and you know not to do this near an airport and stuff like that. Whereas before it was just kind of going about, now you're a lot more security conscious and you need to be, especially with everything that's been happening. And so you kind of just get, you're not immortal and you know that you only have so much time, so it's kind of use the time you have wisely. Thanks for talking to us. No problem.